good morning to everyone myself en kalpana i am from sri gk jain higher secondary school royapuram for more educational video please subscribe our youtube channel today for the 10th standard i am going to explain the topic is transportation in plants and circulation in animals in previous video we discussed about the few def definitions in the transportation in plants like osmo osmosis and uh, plasmolysis imbibition types of osmosis and all today we have to see the pathway of water usually for the plant we pour the water which was absorbed by the soil so from the soil the root which is been absorbed the water from the soil and then only it is been uh, sent it to all the parts of the plant okay so now we have to see the pathway of water first one pathway uh, it is a root hair so we already know in the last previous video we discussed about the uh, structures of zones of root hair when you see the root we have uh, three zones are there first one it is a meristematic zone meristematic means which is the tissues where it is found on the where the um, productions will be will be gone on the tissue will be called it as a meristematic tissues then in the root are uh, some kind of tissues are there then uh, the elongation uh, so the tissues we have seen the lot of zones which is present in the root okay so first one in the root root has are been present so water which is been absorbed by the root hair so see it is a root so here in the root hair have been present in it the water which is been absorbed by the root through the root through the root hairs okay then it is been passed over to the cortex cell the cell which is been present in between the root as well as the xylem we know about the xylem xylem which is been helpful for the conduction of water okay so first it is been from the root hair it has been transmitted to the cortex cell by the way of osmosis so osmosis is the moment of solvent from the higher concentration to the lower concentration okay so how the osmos osmosis will be taken part here when you see when you see the root hair the concentration of water is high when you compare with the cortex so here the concentration is high so the water the mean solvent which is been transferred from the higher concentration to the lower concentration okay so obviously then it should be uh, uh, from the higher to lower osmosis will be taken part so here the concentration automatically reduced in it. then again we move on to the cortex first transmitted here the concentration will be higher then later on those the water molecule that means solvent from the cortex it is been transmitted to the xylem again the concentration from the higher to lower or after the transmission the concentration will be reduced in it so here xylem the concentration will be increased on it okay so uh, from the root hair compare with the cortex it should be lower the concentration then after the transformation uh, compare with the xylem cortex will be having the lower concentration and uh, finally it is been moved on to xylem xylem which is a kind of tissues which will be helpful for the conducting of water from the root till which is been supplied to all over the parts of the plant okay so this is the pathway of supplying the water so from the root hair it is been transmitted through the to the cortex cell then it is been moved on the xylem the process will be osmosis so osmosis is nothing else the transmission of the conducting the moment of solvent from the higher concentration to the lower concentration this is about the pathway of water then we move on to the types of movement we have a two different types of movement one is the apoplast movement other one is the simple symplast movement okay when you consider a cell an apoplast movement means the cell which conducting the water in between see here intercellular space if you take a cell 
the space between from one cell to another some space is there through the space if the conduction will be take part means that movement will be called it as a apoplast movement suppose if the movement will be take part within the cell so let's see if you consider this is a cell we have two cells will be there if some the interspace between them means so through the interspace the the conduction the movement will be take part mean it is a apoplast through the cell in between the into the cell the conduction will be take part mean it is called as a symplast what are the types of movement we have two types one is a apoplast movement other one is a symplast apoplast the movement will be take in intercellular space symplast through the cell let's see the points of the apoplast as well as the symplast first one apoplast which is the movement will be take intercellular space what is mean by intercellular space the space between the two cell that is called as a intercellular space and second point it is always been carried in the intercellular space and does not be get into the it is not been crossing through the cell okay that is a second point and third one it is always depend on the gradient gradient is nothing else quantity of water content so it has been through the space only so if the quantity of water is there you are reduce the water quantity its movement will be differ that is why it is depend on the gradient so what are the three important points in the apoplast first one is it has been the movement take part in the through the intercellular space and it does not cross in the cell third one it depends on the gradient which is opposite to the symplast and first point it is here it is a intercellular space here the movement will be take through the cell that means with the help of through it it is crossing the cytoplasm some other organelles which is found in the cells no like cytoplasm nucleus and no. it is crossing over the the moment of the moment will be take part crossing all the cell organelles okay that is a symplast and second point here does not crossing here it is been crossing all the cell organelles and third point it has been depend on the gradient it does not depend on the gradient which is against the gradient because already some more water molecule will be there so it is never be depend on the gradient so this is about the moment of um, types of moment so types of moment apoplast and symplast which is been three important one which is uh, nearly opposite to one another first one intercellular crossing through intercellular space it is through the cytoplasm through the cell it does not crossing any cell organelles but it should crossing all the cell organelles because it is been get into the cell okay that is why third one it is depend on the gradient it does not depend on the gradient it has been against on the gradient and the next topic is transpiration so transpiration is nothing else evaporation of water in plants usually we felt that during the summer uh, in the way of sweating we lost the water that is called as a dehydration isn't it the same way in the plants also evaporations will be done evaporation means removal the water will be uh, converted into vapor okay it has been get out of from the uh, plant usually if more water will be stay uh, been present on the water it will be decompose the plant for example if you taking a just a greens and all if you dipped in the water for a one or two days or one days what happen after the thing it will be decomposed in it because more amount of water present in it it leads to the decomposition so that is why evaporation that means the transpiration is a very important one so transpiration is nothing else evaporation of water in plants so uh, usually evaporation for example when you taking as a plant so where the uh, autotrophism will be taking place it synthesize the food with the help of leaves only isn't it with the help of chlorophyll the same way in the leaves this tomato that means a small pores will be present in the leaves so through the small holes only the water will be the excess of water will be converted into the vaporized form it has been evaporated it lost the water usually in the tomato we will be having a 
guard cell which been having a protective one so usually in the guard cell it will be having the activity of opening as well as the closing activity will be there so usually in the day time these tomato will be open so that is why with the help of sunlight the water will be transfer evaporates in it and during the night time it will be closed so we, it is also be prevented from the these guard cell will be helpful for the uh, evaporation of water as well as it will be helpful to preventing the excessive loss of water that too also it will be spoiling the plant also if excess of water it will be decomposed if we re, uh, reduce if uh, less number of water it is also be causes the uh, the, the wood plant will be dyed in it it will be in a very dry condition isn't it so the opening and the closed part of the stomata will be helpful for the transpiration okay so during the day time the stomata will be open and during the night time it will be closed on it so if the water so just if the water will be so here the some mesophile cells also so the mesophile it is a kind of yes we know about the cell it is a structure and functional unit of all living organism so in the leaves the mesophile cells will be present in it so in the mesophile cells so it will be helpful for the so usually it will be helpful for the transpiration also and one more thing the mesophile will be helpful for the the term transpiration pull what is mean by transpiration pull usually we know with the help of stomata the guards of uh, with the, it has been closed and open so water will be excess loss on it or it will be save on it okay so if the water enter into it so due to the turgidity if the water enter on it automatically the waves will be there it should be uh, open in it okay so it will be called it as turgid and if the, if the water loss it it will be called it as a flaccid flaccid means due to shrinking on it if the automatically if the more amount of water will Will be entered into it automatically. It will be open in it. It is called turgid. So due to the turgid of the guard cell only, only the transpiration will be take part. And uh, if the water will be loses, that it becomes shrink on it. It will be called it as a flaccid. If the water will be loss on it automatically, what happen? The leaves in the leaves through the leaves only the water will be evaporated. So automatically, what happen? It started to pulling the water from the root. So those pulling will be called it as the transpiration pull. So in this videos we discuss about the transpirations and next one is the osmosis and the pathway of water types of movements and all. Thank you. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.